Hi, my name is Jim with Aricto, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Kubeflow on AWS using MiniKF. If you haven't already done so, you want to make sure to head on over to aricto.com slash get started and sign up for MiniKF. By doing so, you're going to get access to all the different distributions, whether you want to install MiniKF on AWS, locally using Vagrant, or on GCP. You'll also get access to a wealth of information on how to get started and use MiniKF. Now, uh, a couple of requirements and tips and tricks to go over. The first one is going to be the default resources that you need to allocate uh, for your MiniKF installation. The first one is going to be your instance type. You don't want to go any smaller than M5.2x large. That's the recommended default. That's going to give you eight virtual CPUs, 32 gigs of memory. Your storage will be EBS only and networking up to 10 gigabits of Ethernet. Two quick tips and tricks. The first one is going to be you want to hit the refresh uh, button if you don't see your new VPC or subnet in the drop down when you create it. The second one is going to be make sure your security group has access to SSH on port 22 and HTTP on port 80 as these will be essential when installing MiniKF but then also when viewing the central dashboard. Okay, the installation is actually pretty painless. It's four steps. The first step is going to be to launch MiniKF from the AWS marketplace. Step two is to define the resources in the configure and the launch screens. Step three is to SSH into the instance and start the MiniKF install. And finally, in step four, we log into the MiniKF dashboard. Okay, let's do an install. All right, so the first thing to do is to head on over to the AWS marketplace and find the MiniKF uh, entry, configure uh, and subscribe, uh, and then uh, accept the terms and conditions. And then from here, you're just going to go ahead and go with the default configurations. Obviously, choose a region that is most appropriate for you. Click on continue to launch. Now, from here, you're going to want to go with the defaults, a couple of quick changes that you'll want to make. The first one is let's just go ahead and set up a security group just for this installation. Uh, here's where we're going to want to make sure that we have access to port 22 as well as port 80. Uh, let's just go ahead and configure some uh, a uh, key pair. Uh, for this particular um, installation. And once that's done, we're going to want to make sure that we click the refresh button uh, to make sure it populates uh, the drop down. And then we'll go ahead and select that key pair that we just created and we're ready to click the launch button. Now from here, go ahead and click on the EC2 console hyperlink. And once we see that the instance is in a running state, we're ready to go ahead and click on the details for it. Click on the connect uh, button. Here's where we'll be connecting uh, on port 22. So we'll use the default credentials uh, to SSH into the box. And then once we're here, we're going to want to simply type mini KF and click enter and the installation will now proceed. Now it, the installation itself does take a few minutes. So, uh, it's a good time to go grab a cup of coffee uh, or catch up on some other work, but um, through the magic of uh, time-lapse videography, we'll get this done in just a couple of seconds. So when the installation actually completes, what you're going to get is a splash screen, which is going to give you your username as well as your uh, password that's been generated by the installation. Uh, as well as the URL on where to access the MiniKF dashboard. So go ahead and open up your favorite browser, get to the dashboard, type in the username and password that was provided uh, to you, and you are now at the central dashboard. And that's it. You've successfully installed Kubeflow on AWS using MiniKF. Happy Kubeflowing.